Iris or Immune Reconstitution Inflammatory Syndrome is a condition that happens occasionally in people with HIV infection who start antiretroviral therapy. When the immune system wakes up, instead of responding appropriately to an infection, it has this profound inflammatory response and that can make people sick. During inflammation, the immune cells have very high energy requirements. So we studied uh, people with HIV infection who were starting antiretroviral therapy and we found that they did indeed express high levels of the GLUT1 receptor, which is a receptor that brings glucose into the cell. This exact same receptor is basically utilized to bring the heavy glucose into the cells for the PET scan imaging. Based on Dr. Saletti's findings, we designed a protocol to find out if FTG PET could potentially predict HIV positive patients who will develop iris. PET or positron emission tomography is an imaging modality that is designed to detect functional changes in tissues at the molecular level. Fluorodeoxyglucose is an analog of sugar and usually the uptake of FTG in the tissues is proportional to how much sugar and energy those tissues need. For this study we recruited HIV positive patients who are not treated and who were supposed to start on treatment. We obtained FTG PET CT scans at baseline and four to eight weeks after we started treatment. We found that the FTG uptake was much higher at baseline in iris patients compared to non-iris patients. We compared the follow-up scan to the baseline scan. We found that iris patients generally had an increase in their FTG uptake, while non-iris patients had the opposite. Obviously, the study was small. It was a pilot study. But I think it set the stage as for the possibility of FTG PET scans to be used to predict development of, of iris. And so one could imagine that uh, perhaps we would treat these patients longer for their opportunistic infection before starting antiretroviral therapy, or perhaps uh, we could monitor them more closely to find early signs and establish therapy earlier than we would otherwise.